Balanced View offers standardized education into the nature of intelligence, a more comprehensive type of intelligence that is not based on an accumulation of knowledge, based, and not an accumulation of frameworks, systems, belief systems, or any kind of assumptions. It's based on open intelligence, an intelligence that is open and inexhaustible like a clear sky. In Balance View, we're introduced to open intelligence through short moments of open intelligence. When we stop thinking just for a moment, we can all do that. Just stop thinking for a moment. What remains when you stop thinking? Alertness, clarity, very simple. It's very powerful also. There's a vibrancy. It's not an emptiness. It's not a stillness. This is open intelligence. In this training, we rely on short moments of identifying open intelligence throughout our day when we naturally remember to do so. So don't try to make it into a very contrived practice. In my experience, very contrived practices of trying to understand the nature of intelligence didn't work. They left me irritated, very irritated, very frustrated. Having moments of thinking I understand it and then having all of that washed away, swept away, blown away by what we call data. Thoughts, emotions, sensations, anything we experience. Okay, so there's open intelligence. We've, we've identified that. In our experience, we have data, which I just explained, the thoughts, the emotions, the sensations, the experiences. Conventionally, we give independent power and meaning to each of these different datum, data. It's like a stream of data, and we focus in on them, and we call them positive, we call them negative, we call them neutral. We try to accumulate positive, we try to eradicate the negative, and we give them a power and meaning of their own. We give them a dictionary definition, a dictionary that somebody wrote long ago, so far long ago that who cares how long ago that was, so we need something that works in this day and age, this time, this place, this circumstance that will provide immediate benefit and long-term benefit so that we don't have to experience things like genocide, more violence, more hatred, more greed. The power of the Four Mainstays lifestyle, a balanced view, allows us to live a life of complete benefit to ourselves and others, regardless of what has happened in the past. Past are memories, they are data streams appearing within open intelligence. All data appear within open intelligence and they self-release within open intelligence. Just like the images in a crystal ball, appear within that crystal ball and they resolve within the crystal ball, leaving no trace. Like space is unaffected by anything that occurs within space. Anything that happens within space it leaves no mark, it leaves no scratch. Space is stainless and flawless. When you take short moments, you access the stainless flawlessness about yourself. regardless of the data that you experience. If you have a positive datum, rely on short moments of identifying open intelligence. Let the description be exactly as it is without indulging in it. Indulging just means playing out the story, giving it more reason, analyzing, projecting, trying to figure it out. That is indulging. Give that a break. If you're an analyzer, an indulger, 
give yourself the gift of that break for that moment, short moments of not analyzing. It's the best gift I ever gave myself. Or if you avoid the data streams, it could be a person that you really despise and you're, you physically avoid them. Or it's better yet something like an emotion of sadness, doing everything at your will to avoid feeling sadness. And then using the third strategy of trying to replace the data. Replace sadness with positive affirmations or feeling happy. Saying, trying to boost ourselves up. So these are the three tools of reification that just leave us on a hamster wheel. Trying to get rid of the negative, trying to accumulate positive, and it's just this cycle of suffering where there's never any lasting satisfaction, lasting sense of flourishing, where our beneficial potencies are wasted on an analyzing, indulging, avoiding, or replacing. And it's really crucial that we come to see this. We as humans are so inherently beneficial, regardless of the kinds of thoughts, emotions, sensations we have. We've been fed a line of BS saying that we are somehow flawed. And if we continue to have bad thoughts or emotions, we'll either be reborn in another worse state, where we'll be forever doomed to the realms of some kind of hell. So, uh, when you rely on short moments, is that true in your experience? Right now, when you just rest deeply, relax body and mind completely, emphasize open intelligence, what is really true in this moment? Get to know yourself as your open intelligence rather than all these made-up belief systems, all these stories and fantasies about what we take ourselves to be. We don't have to go along with the conventional norm. And we don't here. We do not do that here. We are living a completely different lifestyle that is based on empowerment of everyone, the exaltation of everyone, no one left out. Everyone deserves the birthright of empowerment, freedom, to understand the nature of their own mind. And we take a stand for that here. We don't take it lightly, but as a community we find lightheartedness in our commitment. We find that there is an ease of being and at the same time a potency. And all of you here are demonstrating that. Our communities around the world are demonstrating that. So the results of this Four Mainstays lifestyle are very evident and alive today. And that is what is most important. Doesn't matter what happened years ago. If we want to get lost in why people are the way they are, that just, it's not really important. It's like, just focus on what is the solution for myself? How can I feel at ease within my own skin, with all of my data, even if I have thoughts about how terrible things are? What of the four mainstays can I rely on to let the data be as it is? to see that it is shining forth within this pristine expanse of blissful open intelligence. And this training is so experiential. You're a direct experience. I can share from my own experience the text of Balance View, elicit and evoke the direct realization of open intelligence in your experience. It's not a philosophical debate where we sit around and chit-chat about how things are. We live it. The trainer will empower you, shine the light on all of your data streams, illuminating them for what they really are, the exaltation of reality. The grand plan of open intelligence is the benefit of all. Period. Exclamation point. <laughs>
you can take a stand for what projects you want to be involved in and you can work with your trainer, you can work with the community. We're creating something here so fresh and new. Drawing on what has worked in the past but seeing what is required for today. How can you empower people of all ages, from all nations, with what you have to say, with what you have to share from your empowered direct experience? No longer compromising just because somebody says you should do it one way, it's up to you if you want to do it that way or not. Your trainer will work with you. Everyone will work with you and empower you. You just being in the trainings and training up in your own empowered nature, you'll know what to say. If you're up on stage in front of a million people, you can share empowerment. You don't have to talk about anything else. And then, yeah, the lifestyle. My lifestyle. I see we can create whatever lifestyle we want in Balance You. When you rely on the Four Mainstays, it doesn't mean that you conform to some thing. Everybody has their own things they like to do, where they like to be in the world, who they, who they want to spend time with. So what I see is it's just all of us. We come together, we train together, and then we go out. We have our own families, friends, and we start influencing them. So magically, the Four Mainstays community just starts to grow, starts to spread. We attract people to the way we are living in our daily life. We go to work, we play, whatever we're doing, and then people see something in us that sparks a recognition of empowerment that maybe they didn't see before. So you don't need to change the things you like to do. You don't have to go live in isolation. There's all these ideas about what community is and training and empowerment is, but this, the Four Mainstays, brings it to your everyday life. That's what's so attractive. That's what's so realistic. This is so realistic. This, the Four Mainstays is based on reality. A practice that you can take wherever you go. Short moments of open intelligence whenever you naturally remember to do so. Stop emphasizing data. Rest naturally. Get to know your empowered nature. Come to the trainings. Rely on the training media. Read the books. Come to the meetings, ask the questions to the trainers, and spend time in community. And then that's your lifestyle. And you get to do all the things you want to do.